The mere mention of goal setting and performance goals can send a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned business professional. During this video, we'll look at how employee life encourages a back to basics approach to goal setting. Before we start though, why set goals in the first place? Goals are waypoints oriented into the future and provide both individuals and the organization as a whole with direction. And whilst this is a good thing, the way that goals are set can cause significant problems if not properly considered. There are all sorts of acronyms and approaches to goal setting. The most common is the SMART acronym, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. While setting goals in this way is generally good practice, it can also go horribly wrong. Here is just one example. In the late 1960s, Ford was losing market share to foreign competitors who were selling small fuel efficient cars. The CEO at the time set the goal of producing a new car that would weigh under 2,000 pounds and cost under $2,000. He wanted it to be available for purchase in 1970. The car they developed using this SMART criteria was the Ford Pinto, pictured on your screen. The tight timeline meant that senior managers were not as rigorous with safety checks and the car was built with the fuel tank located behind the rear axle in less than 10 inches of crush space. And this meant the car could ignite upon impact. As many as 53 people died and many others were injured. The goal was met at the expense of safety, ethical behavior, and ultimately the company's reputation. So when it comes to goal setting, it's not always just about the final destination. Employee life supports a goal setting process that keeps things simple, clear, and most importantly, attention on the things that matter at the time. There are several important aspects of goal setting, therefore, that need to be incorporated into any process. Firstly, unless a person feels some sort of ownership over the goal and understands why it's important, they're not very likely to achieve that goal. So individuals need to be involved and need to agree to anything that it is that they need to achieve. If a person can't make a conscious or unconscious link between the goal and, and, and what it means to achieve it, it probably won't happen. Also, a person needs to know how to actually go about achieving it. They have to have the capability and know-how, or at least have the ability to acquire that know-how. Goals then need to be kept within a person's attention. If someone forgets about it or it remains outside of their attention, it simply isn't going to get done. And finally, they need to take continuous, deliberate and relevant action. No goal ever achieves itself. And so this intention to do what is necessary is extremely important. This is how employee life supports this process. As part of the goal setting drumbeat, an organization would usually set a number of strategic objectives or focus areas for the year. Once these are agreed by the leadership team, each team and the members of the team would commit to how they can help the organization achieve these objectives. They enter their goals into the secure personal employee life account and each week commit to updating these goals and keeping a short log to keep everyone up to date about progress. There's no need to overcomplicate it. 10 to 15 minutes per employee per week is usually enough to make a very big difference to the organization. Goal progress is then available on a real-time dashboard for the leadership team to see at any time. By ensuring that everyone in the organization understands how they are contributing to the company's goals, and by keeping these things visible and transparent, issues and opportunities can be discovered and actioned. With the right goal setting practices, you can save your organization and employees a whole lot of wasted time. And this is good for everyone.